Book two is The Next Step in the Dance by Tim Gatro. It was my coin toss book and it should have been first. Hi, it's Friday night and I've had a particularly unproductive Friday. I spent most of the day either trying to arrange meetings, um, trying to get a book that because it's gotten lost in the mail so I've gone to sorting offices and they did their best but it's not there. Um, that's a budgie flying. Um, or um, trying to film um, <laughs> unsuccessfully. <laughs> um, I keep trying to say TV or when I want to say book haul. Um, and I've got to stop saying um because I haven't learned how to edit yet. So when I do learn how to edit, I might take out the ums, I might leave them. I might actually exaggerate the ums. So I sp yeah, filming was interesting. The first time I left the budgies in the room, um, I worked out fairly well. It was natural light, um, but I worked around it and it was grand. But the budgies were very, very, very noisy and I had loads and loads of apologies written up, I'm sorry about this and sorry about that, and I went, that's just ridiculous. So I said, I'll film it again. Um, and by this time I tried to film it off my iPhone. But I obviously I'd set up my uh, iPhone for HDR and I had no idea I'd done that. So it was high resolution um, and the file sizes were too large and it took me two attempts of filming a 15 minute to 20 minute video to realize I'm watching all the way well trying to watch watching all the way through on the phone and then trying to upload to my iMac to realize it's not going to upload to my iMac even with the cable um, to work out what the problem was and the problem was the file sizes were too large so I eventually went back and refilmed in a low <laughs> not lower resolution but normal resolution um, because I would never be able to upload a film like that on my um, broadband. I have a phone wire that hangs over a car park that goes into my car park, it goes into my apartment because it's not possible for me to get broadband in my area because we have loads of um, older buildings and they, um, they wouldn't allow broadband over the fronts of their buildings so there's just no way else to get it to me. So I have a swinging wire so when it's windy there goes a the bird. And it goes, when it's windy, um, you can actually see <laughs> the broadband go whoosh, whoosh. Even though I'm in a densely populated area, I'd be better off in a slightly less densely populated area where you could actually get broadband to you. So reading-wise, I haven't had a chance to read today. And this is my only my second book. It is Friday night. <laughs> I'm not doing terribly well. I, to be honest, no, I don't go for the only short books. So people who are doing the seven I know will always go for short books because they really mean it. Whereas I go for seven over a full month, so that's okay. I should still be doing slightly better than this. Um, and I also cheated. And this is a coin toss book, and a coin toss book should have been one of the first books. And this is actually the second book. And that's the noise of the budgies. I'm not taking this off a of vlog. Um, I will take it off other videos and force them into other rooms, but they're not going into other rooms. And he's just gone to his toy and he's telling his toy that you're a pretty budgie. And he's kissing it. That's a kiss sound. Yeah, he's. He gets, shush, shush. Okay, yes, he's having a drink of water. But <laughs> the other one is still feeding. Um, yeah, so this book was phenomenal. I'm going to learn to hold them like this so you can see the names of the authors. Um, I am so glad that I followed um, Ring, which was um, Suzuki's Japanese horror novel, um, a mass market paperback and a book designed for mass market paperback, you know, a plot driven book. And then I, I, I followed this up with a lovely piece of literary fiction 
um, with a real sense of place. This is set in Louisiana. I've only read three chapters and I'm already in love with it. I'm hoping it's going to be like that all the way through. Um, I should do the 112 page, page 112 deck or something to see, <laughs> but I haven't. Um, so I'm really enjoying this. I might get it finished by Sunday night, then I might not because I was still reading the dinosaur book and half a dozen other things. I'm reading on, uh, not half a dozen, that's an exaggeration, Maria. Um, on audio, I'm halfway through Catherine Curley's um, Mandolin, I'm actually 51%. So I am reading other things, but uh, I just, I don't read very fast and you know, that's okay. Um, I spent a lot of the time when I was a student stressing over my reading speed and I don't stress over it anymore because I love reading at the speed I do. I read audio audiobooks at a 1x speed. I just can't stand them at 1.25. My brain just does not like to absorb a story any quicker than it, than it does. So, I mean, and what's wrong with that? I'm enjoying it, so I'm happy. Um, the book that I did finish let me just talk about things in my order. So it was in the vlog that was more or less clips. And it has a scary clip near the end. So, you know, if you're into scary clips, I do recommend watching that. Not my work, the filmmaker's work. Um, so the book I finished was Ring. And last night I watched the Japanese movie. Um, book, problematic. Problematic characters movie takes the concept of the book which is really 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 good about can you just be even just a little bit quiet no no um really good about the videotape um i hope that's not a spoiler to anybody because to me everybody should know the basic premise of ring um but it's about a videotape um and if you watch it bad things happen and in the movie that's the opening scene they're talking about the videotape and what scary things happen to somebody when they when they watch it. Um, it takes it's a really really good premise and then you know investigating how this happened and and you know you have your seven days where you're going to die. Um, but the characters in the book are, are very problematic. Excuse me, excuse me. Um, I'm just going to pause this and let him into the other room. He actually, he's just asking for the move. So if you have a cat and you're complaining about the cat, please don't. It's not really as bad as you think. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> you shut up, and if he talk, if I'm talking, he wants to talk. Um, <laughs> that's very problematic characters. Um, there's, in both the movie and the book, there's a journalist, and then let's just call it a knack and then they have a friend who's an academic slash psychic okay S psychic not sidekick psychic I have to learn to enunciate um I only found out recently that I ha I've had hearing problems for quite a while now and, I, and so I, maybe I've just learned to slur words because I couldn't hear them properly but that's a side sidebar um so the, the, the sidekick um, um, academic in the book is pretty problematic to some pretty horrendous things. Normally I would have done a book who thought it was okay to have a protagonist, you know, not a bad guy, but a protagonist, like a, a supposed good guy, not good guy, but somebody who's supposed to be scared for, do something like that. I wouldn't normally um, accept it. Um, that character doesn't do anything like that in the, in the Japanese movie. Um, the main investigative journalist in the book is, I don't understand thinking he's friends with, with the person he's friends with after, when he knows what he did. Um, he's very unsympathetic in that he doesn't, um, he neglects his wife and child and then his wife and child are in danger and you're supposed to be feel sorry for him and scared of him. Don't get it. The, um, in the movie. Japanese movie so much better. We have our, um, we actually have the mother is the investigative journalist. So I mean, like, and she's far more sympathetic because her her child, she's a lovely mother. Her child watches the the videotape, so you feel scared for her and her child. Um, so altogether, so much better. So what my plan is for tonight, 
is to watch the American version and then I'll have all three. So I will have done the book to movie adaptation really properly. Even if I only get hopefully two books finished this week, I'll have at least gotten that much. Okay, so thank you for watching. Bye. And the budgies have flown out.